Welcome back to the channel. Today's we are diving deep into one of the most fascinating dimensionality protection techniques in machine learning. That is locally linear embedding, LLE. This technique is powerful for handling non-linear data. So if you're ready to learn how to how it works, let's jump straight to it. So what is locally linear embedding? So LLE or locally linear embedding is a technique used for lone linear dimensionality reduction. It works by assuming that every data point lies on the on a local linear manifold and tries to preserve the local geometry while mapping it to a lower dimensional space. The basic idea behind LLE is that even though the data might not be linear separable in higher dimension, we can still approximate its relationship in a lower dimensional space by preserving the local structure. This is particularly useful for data that lies on the curve manifold, such as image, speech signal, or even 3D object shapes. So next question is when to use LLE? Now you might be wondering when, when should I use LLE? Well, LLE is particularly useful when you have high dimension data, but you suspect there is some underlying structure that's not immediately obvious. Your data is non-linear and you want to capture the intrinsic intrin geometry of a data, such as cluster or pattern that cannot be captured by simpler technique like PCA. So LLE works best when your data lies on a smooth curved manifold Think of like a faces, hand written digit, or even 3D objects data. Let's break down the LLE algorithm in simple step. So first, neighbor search. For each data point, find its nearest neighbor in the higher dimension space. This is often done using a distance matrix like Lucidian's distance. Second, reconstruction weights. For each data point, we calculate the weight that best reconstruct its linear combination of its neighbor. So this step ensures that local relationship between the data points are preserved. Third, the local dimensional embedding. Finally, the weights are used to find the lower dimensional representation of the data that best preserve this local relationship. And this can be this step can be solved using eigenvalue and eigenvectors. The beauty of LLE is that it captures the local neighborhood relationship with, uh, while mapping the data to a lower dimension without losing key structure. All right, now let's, now that we have understood the theory behind LLE, let's see it is in action. So in, instead of uh, using any common data set, we are going to use more complex data set like the Swiss roll. And uh, this data set is perfect example of a non-linear structure that LLE can handle. First, let's import the necessary libraries and generate the Swiss roll data. So let me run this. And this is where we are generating the data. As you can see, the Swiss roll data is 3D spiral. So if I run this and show you the data, which is clearly a non-linear. Now let's use LLE to reduce this data from 3D to 2D space. So for this, we initially, uh, we initialize the local linear embedding and apply the LLE to Swiss roll data. And finally, to visualize the 2D embedding of the data. Here we go. So the data is now in 2D. As you can see, the LLE has successfully unfolded the Swiss roll into the more interpretable 2D structure. And notice how the local relationship has been preserved. Point that were close to each other in 3D space remain close in a 2D space. And let's break it down. So make uh, Swiss roll 3D, uh, it's generate the uh, 3D Swiss roll data set. And we locally, we apply the LLE to the data set. 
here the n neighbors as you can see it's specified 12 and the n components 2 means we want to reduce the data set to two dimension and the n neighbor 12 equals to specify how many neighbors we consider for each point and finally we plotted the transform data to visualize how LLE has unfolded the Swiss row. Now let's talk about some parameters we can do to improve LLE. So n neighbors again, this is the number of a neighbor to consider when constructing the low, local linear model. Higher value can smooth out embedding while low value can make the embedding more sensitive to noise. N component is the target number of dimension you want to reduce. You can try reducing the 1D or data to 1D, two dimension or three dimension, depending on your task. And the method here has a few various like standard, SCN and modified. Each method has its own strength, but standard is usually a good starting point. So let's tune the parameter. As you can see, the tweaking this parameter can change the way data is embedded. The flexibility allow you to experiment finding the best configuration of your specific data. To sum it up, the local linear embedding LLE is a great technique for reducing the dimensionality of a non-linear data while preserving its local geometry. We have used this to unfold the Swiss role, but LLE can be applied to a wide uh, variety of data sets from image to speech signal and making it very powerful tool in your machine learning tool toolbox if you found this video helpful make sure to likes thank you for watching and i will see you in the next room